little bit of cooking. So here we have a 2004 KX250F. Pristine condition, as you can tell. Um, just changing the uh, gaskets on it, lower gasket, head gasket, piston rings. Um, so we're going to show you how it's done. Mm -mm. Did you start? Just start okay, here we have the uh, compression ring. This is the sits right on the top there in that groove of the cylinder. This is what gives you compression. Then we have three rings which sit in. Oh, crushing that one. In this form. Are you whispering by me? <laughs> in this form, and these are your oil rings. Oh, wait, no, they don't sit like that, do they? They sit like. That's his <laughs> <laughs> They sit like so. And this sweeps oil off the piston right. wall. And now installing them, we start off with the lowest most oil ring, which is just a... Uh, it's like a small compression ring is what it looks yeah, like. Correct. In fact... So you put in, put it in one slot and then really, really rotate gonna, it around. I don't like this being on video, dude. It puts pressure. No, but if other people are doing this for the first time, it helps them. For example, this is his first bike. And, um, you. I'm a bike wizard. Exactly, he's learning a lot. Okay. So if it wasn't for us, where would you go to find out how so, to do it? Here you go. YouTube. This is an right, oil ring. So yes, is is the oil ring. ring. It goes 90 degrees to right, the first. Now installing the squiggly oil ring which basically gets sandwiched in between the two other oil rings. Be very careful that you do not overlap which these squigglies because then it will be too compressed. So just make sure that so you've got the three oil rings installed. Alrighty, now top piston ring. I'm gonna give you a little trick here. Let's try and get all of this clear. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slip it in the top groove as such and then to ensure it doesn't bend you're gonna roll it around like that and then just come around push it over the edge boom 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 there we go and that's how you ensure that you don't bend or crack your piston rings right is there an up or a down on the ring on this ring no on some rings there are and that will usually be uh, shown by a little dimple just before the break there there we go and what direction shall they piston rings put the gap in oh well the oil rings are all at 90 degrees and if it's a, a single compression ring then it has no uh, <laughs> purpose <laughs> to orientate it let's put it that way there's no need uh, no need to orientate it. If you've got two compression rings, then usually it's debatable. You put them at 45 or at 90 degrees of each other. There we go. So, right, so rings are installed. Now, time to clear off all the old gaskets. Is that all the oil bottom. that's lying there, Mother? Yes, don't, don't <laughs> uh, To make that. sure for a good seal. 